So we've just received the FX20 from Markforge that we ordered last month. So the crate is massive. To free the ramp, we have to remove four screws on the front panel, which will liberate the eight foot long ramp, which will allow us to pull the printer out of its crate. You should plan about 16 feet in total. So you're able to include the crate in, plus the ramp and then free the printer to move it around. Keep in mind the printer weighs about 500 kilograms. So you should plan two persons in a really, really good shape. So you can pull the printer out of the crate and down onto the ramp. So the printer has included casters on it. It's sturdy enough so we can roll the printer around. So what we're going through now is bringing the printer down to our 3D printing lab. So our lab already includes multiple Markforge product as well as Builder 3D, Race 3D and Nexo 3D printers. We're removing the wrap from the machine so we're able to appreciate the size and face of that printer for the first time. So starting from the top, what we have here is a printer cover that basically hides all the electronics and mechanics from the printer. They're all above the printer, so they're separated from the heated chamber. So speaking of the heated chamber, which is located right beneath the top cover, the heated chamber allows up to 200 degrees Celsius to basically allow us to print all the material. So underneath the heated chamber, where we have access to the touchscreen, which allows us to basically monitor, start and print from the touchscreen. And right next to it is located the safety emergency button. Lastly, below the printer, we have the material storage, which is monitoring its quantity, temperature, as well as humidity. 